Hi, my name is Liam Galin and I'm the president and CEO of Flash Networks. Flash Networks provides solutions to mobile carriers to help them optimize and monetize the mobile internet world. Hello Liam, thank you for joining us today. If you could please introduce uh, Flash Networks. Flash Networks is all about providing new solutions to help carriers to deal with the overwhelming uh, growth of mobile data. Mobile data is growing all over the world due to user demand and it results in two domains. One is the inability of most of the networks to deal with the amount of traffic on them. And second, the um, diminishing position of carriers in the over-the-top world. Carriers are today providing solutions and investing billions of dollars um, to build their next generation networks, mostly LTE these days. But in the meantime, what we're seeing is that the over-the-top players are the ones who are making money. So the challenge of the mobile carriers today is that they're subsidizing the world for the mobile uh, content providers and for the subscribers and not generating enough cash for themselves from this domain. Do you see a possible monetization of over-the-top traffic for mobile operators? Absolutely, yes. Um, there are many ways to do that. Um, some think of monetizing the mobile internet in a way of differentiating prices for the users. Uh, what we've seen is that carers are trying to provide differentiated pricing plans for the subscribers or for the content providers. But the uh, reality is that users and content providers are not adapting to this world. So we see the carers trying to play in this domain, but it doesn't really play for them. Um, the other way, which we believe, is that instead of fighting the over-the-top players, is joining forces with them and creating a much bigger pie of revenues to be shared between the content providers and the operators. To monetize the mobile internet, carers need to understand that their position must be in cooperation with content providers to provide better solutions for the subscribers, for the end users, to provide more personalized and relevant content for these users, while at the same time create, as I said, a much bigger pie for both carriers and content providers. How does Flash Networks improve the end user quality of experience? So we have two solution suites that both of them address the issue of uh, better user experience. One is optimization, the ability to create a better network for the users. Uh, we have patent protected technologies that enable acceleration of traffic. As an example, on the newest 4G networks, LTE, we are showing acceleration of above 50%, in some cases even beyond 100%, which means that users have better downloading and browsing speeds uh, to enjoy this mobile internet. The second type of solutions that we provide is all about monetization. And monetization from one angle creates revenues for the carers and for the content providers, but more importantly, it creates value for the end user. By leveraging unique knowledge that the carers have, and that's basically what you do on your mobile handset, carers have the ability by joining forces with content providers to provide you personalized content, to provide you real-time information when it's relevant. In your opinion, what is the industry's business potential in the coming years? Well, if you try to derive it from the current uh, model today, if you look on Google and other over-the-top players, we're talking about a market that has grown doubled practically in 2013 and it's going to be $16 billion. And the rate in which it's uh, continuing to grow is phenomenal. The carers, by joining forces and getting into this game of becoming an OTT player, have the ability to leverage their position and be part of that. So if we're talking about increasing the pie, they can be part of a multi-billion, even multi-dozens of billions dollars market in the next few years. And that was very interesting. Thank you for sharing with us. Thank you.